What is up everyone, and welcome to episode 107 of the Witch Doctor Let's Play of Pirates 101. I defeated six of the Armada ships, so now finding the golems in the testing range. So I believe we should be defeating those war golems. It would seem that they were able to get the new golems working. Yeah. Something about them reminds me of the clockworks. Let's build the dummies and get out of here. All right. Eradicate! Eradicate! I think after you, like, feed one, like, it'll explode. Like, it'll do a little damage to you. And... Oh, okay. Golems himself, so yeah, that kind of stinks, but uh, I think we should be fine. Last episode, helping out with the doctor and just still dealing with the, with the crap. Uh, it was well, it was it was just like the you know being like Big Garrett. Cavity McGarrett, something like that. Just the radicals, the radicals, yes. Defeating the radicals. Yeah, I don't know why I had a hard time remembering that. My bad. Okay. So now here we are dealing with the war, with war goblins. I think, I think after this. I think next episode, I think it should be the finale of Marleyball. So, I think after this, well, I'm sure there's like one or two quests to do. And then after that, it should be Rook. Finale of Marleyball. Let's see if we can get Catbeard out of prison. That'll be fun. That's it. Oh, they're active, all right. Active and deadly. Captain, those things were trying to kill us. Marcus Fox must have programmed them to come after us. Why, that bilge-ridden backstabber. I'll kill all him. Okay. Back to Marcus Fox. Yeah. 
You're back. You survived? Oh, no. Hey, not a level. I'm so sorry. They've got my brother, Rupert. He's always been the rebel of the family, looking to stir up trouble. Now he's fallen into the clutches of the anarchist Captain Swing. He and his thugs forced me to reprogram the golems or they'd kill Rupert. Please, don't turn me in. It would break mother and father's hearts. Please, just go and save Rupert. They've taken him into the sewers. Why, you... You're asking for favors after trying to kill us? Calm down, Ratbeard. You don't know how it is in Albion. The troubles, they can drive people to do crazy things. Captain, let's go save his brother. Alright. It looks like there will be an upgrade for Gracie. more of the radicals and then save Rupert. So what's up tomorrow? Well, well, it'll be Aquila, so that'll be fun to record to, even though it's pretty long of a world. I don't know if you would compare it to Cool Ranch, but, uh, or maybe Ocean, but, uh, it's a pretty long world. And I think that's Valencia Part 2. And of course, the Sinbad Chapter 1, 2. And chapter three. Well, as long as I'm level 70, which I will be, and I'll probably have to do the same thing with my companions, get them to level 70. Because, um, yeah, I, I was watching, I was watching videos of it, and, uh, yeah, it's not going to be easy. Files itself is not going to be easy. They seem pretty tough. Oh, my God. 
Let's go. Campo. There we go. Rupert, all right. I know all about him. He's in Johnny Putrid's club down the ways a bit. Oh, I'm sure he can't wait to see you. I'm sure he can. Putrid. Welcome, Captain. I'm so pleased I didn't miss you. Oh, I'm afraid you won't be rescuing Rupert. I made him up. It's taken me years to rise high enough in the engineering corps until I would be trusted enough to help them with their filthy war machines. My plot was almost complete when you ruined it all. Now I've stolen the oscillating overthruster plans. The golems will never work without it. Ooh, I see. He's Johnny Putrid and Marcus Fox. Wow, aren't you the dastardly one? Yes, you're very clever. Too clever by half. The golems won't work for the blasted dogs, but they certainly work for me. Iron Legion, smash them! Well, Dodge? Yeah. 
Almost killed him. Oh, Toromite. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Just two left. What you doing? Yeah. Oh, we're down with the war golems. Marcus got we. Maybe, but he left without his oscillating overthruster plans. I took them from him before his machines attacked us. Clever is as clever does, hmm? Oh. Back to the doctor. Bless my soul, the overthruster plans. We'd never have licked these problems with the Type 39s without them. What? Marcus? Why, I can't believe my ears. We'll never find another programmer as gifted. Well, I'm sure the police will pick him up. We've got what we need now. With the overthrusters and the new programming, the Type 40s will soon work right as rain. Tell Colonel Smeagol we'll be filling orders directly. Now that we have the war columns working, I hope you don't mind if I borrow one. I can put it to good use. Field testing, that's it. Okay. Okay, back to the war room. I think this should be it. So the next quest should be Rook. Exciting. Isn't she Marley Bone? That was weird for a second.
You've done it! Great Scotty, you're as much a military asset as you are a naval one. Good show, Captain. Hip, hip, hurrah! While you were away, Admiral Doggett asked after you several times. Go report in to him at once. Right. Ah, good, you're back. What kept you? I do believe the tide is turning. You've blunted the assault on the Isle of Fetch, and Nelson has foiled Rook's surprise attack. Nelson caught the Armada fleet completely by surprise and blasted them to kindling. All oh, but the Armada flagship, that is. Rook's ship, the Executioner, is a terror. Four times the size of a galleon, with more than a hundred guns. Nelson attacked the flagship directly, and his HMS victory lured Rook into the Trafalgar Vortex. Neither of them has come out. I fear the fleet is decimated. You're one of the few ships we have left. Sail to Trafalgar post-haste and reinforce Nelson, or avenge him. Well, that will do it for this episode, so next time will be the finale of Marleybone, defeating Rook and free Catbeard from prison. So, thanks for watching, click on the like button for more Witch Doctor Let's Play videos, and if you like Wizard and Pirates 101, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell, so that you'll know when I post Wizard and Pirates videos daily. With that, have a great rest of your day today, and I'll see you guys next time.